All right, working on hip flexion here. A couple things that you need, either a stack of blocks or a bunch of different books. Books can be used just with varying heights. So I'll either do like a textbook and a small book, um, but we want an arrangement that is easily adjustable and has varying heights so we can find exactly the right range for you to work in. So with these um, hovers is what we call them, we wanna find the amount of hip flexion that we can just barely get to. So for me, that's about three blocks. Um, could be anything, could be one um, small book, whatever. So I have my stack of blocks and then I use um, a dowel, you can use PVC pipe, you can use a wall, anything that gives you a little bit of extra stability. The stability is not what we're chasing here. So we're looking for a range of motion that we can like just get to. So if you can lift five or six inches, then it's a good chance that you can add another block here. So we're gonna start in this half kneeling position. I'm putting as much pressure into the pole as I can just to get the much help, as much help as I, uh, as I can. And then we're not trying to lift the height, the hips sideways. So we want just this flexion lift. I'm gonna push down, lift and tap, and then set down. And again, I'm working at a height that I can just barely get to. So for me, one block would be really easy to lift to. So I wouldn't want that. You want to get to as close to end range as possible with those lifting hovers. 